The Olympic, Titanic, and Britannic were a trio of sister ships that all made up what was called the Olympic class. Olympic was sailing first in 1911 and sailed for about nine months before Titanic's maiden voyage. This gave the builders nine months to improve on Olympic's designs based on performance and feedback and implement these changes into the Titanic. The plan was that there'd be a similar window of time to add improvements to the Britannic as well, making her the ultimate ship of the Olympic-class trio. Even looking at the Britannic, as she was intended to be designed as an ocean liner, there are significant differences between her and the other two ships. Look at her as a hospital ship, and we see even more obvious differences. Let's talk about some of these differences and understand how Britannic was similar and yet different from her two older sisters. All three were built from the same design. Strip away all the bells and whistles, and you have the same ship. Build onto that, and each ship gains a unique personality. Let's start with the obvious. As a hospital ship, there were some changes that were required of her. She had to be painted up like a hospital ship. White paint, a green stripe, and buff funnel. She also had green running lights for visibility at night, and was given a military identification sign under her bridge. Being a hospital, there were things added and subtracted from her to improve her efficiency as a hospital, such as a morgue being added on the poop deck. Many, though not all, of the interiors were gutted and stored with the shipbuilder until the end of the war. Because these weren't on board when the ship was lost, some of them survive to this day. We have a whole video on our channel dedicated to touring a couple of houses with interiors from the Britannic installed in them. With most interiors removed, this ship was very plain looking on the inside. A lot of differences between the Britannic and the other two ships were not because the ship was serving as a hospital, but were genuine improvements on the Olympic class design. The aft well deck was enclosed to give lower class passengers an additional enclosed promenade to walk, stairs at the tail end of her upper decks, and a deck house around the cargo hatches in the forward well decks. Instead of just two expansion joints, Britannic had four and they were completely different in design from the other two ships. Her bulkheads were raised even higher, and her double bottom was raised around the engine room. An additional compass was installed on the roof of the bridge, and perhaps most obviously, she was given massive electric gantry davits. She was intended to have more than she actually sailed with, but they didn't have time to install them. These davits were able to handle significantly more lifeboats than the Welland davits seen on the Titanic and Olympic, and they had a feature that allowed them to be launched automatically, allowing a ship to be completely and totally abandoned. No doubt, these gantry davits were a result of the Titanic disaster. They served exceptionally well during the sinking, and no doubt added to the efficiency and success of Britannic's evacuation as she was going down. Despite this, the davit design did not catch on though they did appear on a couple of other liners, such as the Windsor Castle and the Arundel Castle. Now, what if Britannic did actually serve as an ocean liner? How would her interiors have differed from Titanic and Olympic? Several large areas of the ship were completely redesigned, especially in first class on sea deck. The maids and valet saloon was replaced by cabins, and on A deck, the reading and writing room was shrunk, with the excess space replaced with cabins. The design of the suites were completely revamped, the swimming pool was made to be exceedingly more luxurious, and a pipe organ was to be installed in the grand staircase. This organ is still around and functional today, having been restored in 2006 by the Museum für Musik Altamaten. The differences between the interiors are countless. This video would go on forever, and I wouldn't possibly have enough visuals to demonstrate them, but deck plans are not too hard to find, and careful study will show the endless amount of differences between the ships. Similar to her sister, the Titanic, Britannic never once crossed the Atlantic. And, just like her sister, she never served a proper career. Britannic was built to be the ultimate Olympic liner, and an improvement on the success and failure of her two predecessors but the war robbed her of any chance to prove herself. Her wreckage is in surprisingly good condition, serving as a testament to her construction. These models, and many others, are available on our website at titanichg.com store. They're in 1-1000 scale, 3D printed, and hand-painted.